one has blood has ransomed people for a whole God. Hey. From every tribe and language, people, every nation. Hey. Where warriors have fallen, there's a resurrection coming. And it's your time to rise and shine. Oh, wake up, you sleeping giant. The wounds of injustice are being healed by the peace. Hey. Oh, yeah. to us who has reached out to us first. And he calls out to us right now. Shema.
worship. Look at your neighbor and say, I came to worship. Declare that you're just going to give your all, your heart, your everything to him this morning or this afternoon. Come on and put your hands together.
gracias Señor en este lugar gracias Señor porque hemos podido llegar con un mismo sentir un mismo pensamiento a decirte Señor que tú eres digno y merecedor de toda gloria y toda honra gracias Señor porque todo dolor todo cansancio, todo problema al entrar por esas puertas Señor tú lo conviertes en amor en restauración gracias por esta casa Señor esta familia Señor que en este día Señor el cielo y la tierra nos convertimos en Ejad para darte a ti Señor toda la gloria y toda la honra gracias por tu presencia por tu espíritu Señor Señor no somos merecedores de tanta misericordia y tanto amor Pero aún así venimos a decirte que tú eres digno Que no hay nada Señor que nosotros podamos darte Que podamos decirte no cabe Señor en nuestra mente tan pequeña No cabes, no hay palabras para describir lo grande que tú eres Lo grande de tu amor There's no words We cannot fit you into our little tiny words, into our tiny head, into our minds. You are almighty. You are worthy to be praised. To you, God, that is seated on the throne, this is for you, God. Te adoramos, Señor. Te exaltamos, Señor. Dino, Can you lift up a new song today? This is the day that the Lord has made. Can we just worship together as one, with one voice? Can we just recognize His presence in this place? No tengo nada para ofrecer Nada que te pueda Sorprende solo un corazón quebrantado una y otra vez. Y no hay nada que me enamore más, nada que pasione más solo tu presencia solo tu mirada me hacen suspirar me
Júzgame oh Señor Porque yo en mi integridad he andado Y en el Señor he confiado Y no vacilaré Pruébame oh Señor Y sondéame Funde mis riñones y mi corazón Porque tu misericordia está delante de mis ojos Y en tu verdad ando No me he sentado con los varones de falsedad Ni entré con los hipócritas Aborrecí la congregación de los malignos Y con los impíos nunca me senté Lavaré en inocencia mis manos Y andaré alrededor de tu altar Oh Señor para aclamar con voz de acción De gracias Y para cantar todas tus maravillas Señor la habitación de tu casa He amado Y el lugar del tabernáculo de tu gloria No juntes con los pecadores mi alma Ni con los varones de sangre mi vida En cuyas manos está el mal Y su diestra está llena de sobornos Mas yo ando en mi integridad Rescátame y ten misericordia de mí He caminado en rectitud en las congregaciones Bendeciré al Señor ¿Podemos bendecir al Señor en este día? ¿Podemos bendecir al Señor en este día? Can we just give him a little bit more of praise, of worship? Can we say to him be the glory, be the honor Forever and ever To you God, to you God This is all about you God
Gracias Señor Toca y restaura Señor Los enfermos son sanos Por tu palabra Señor Por tu presencia en este lugar Enviamos palabra de sanidad Palabra de restauración Señor Y toda la gloria es para ti Señor Sana, abrázanos Señor No hay mejor abrazo que el tuyo Señor porque tú eres digno y merecedor Te adoramos Señor Gracias por un cántico nuevo Digno, digno, digno Tú eres digno Eternamente digno Reconocemos tu grandeza Tú eres digno Eternamente Digno Impresionante Digno Solo ante ti Yo me His children, his beautiful children. having a good time saw you guys with the flags and everything worshiping that's right so who's gonna say the Shema in Hebrew today I'm gonna have Jeremy say the Shema in Hebrew you know it in Hebrew okay Jeremy's gonna say the Shema You know that all of you have to learn this, right? Do you know it in English? You 
you don't, mommy, he doesn't know it in English. Do you know it in English? Mm, do you know it in English? Mm. Okay, I'm going to have Harriet say it in English, okay? <laughs> Hear, O Israel, O Lord our God, the Lord of one. Blessed be the name of the glorious kingdom for never and ever. Amen. Amen. And who's going to say it in Spanish? Who knows it in Spanish? Okay, so I'm going to have the other Jeremy say it in Spanish. Escucha a Israel, Jehová nuestro Dios, Jehová uno es. Bendecido sea el nombre de su reino por siempre y siempre. Amén. Amen. So I'm going to have only one child do the, the shofar today. I'm, I'm going to have Malik do it because he didn't say the verse. So I'm going to have Malik do it. Come on, Malik. Strong. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to have Pastor Kim. I'm going to ask everybody to stand on your feet. Se pongan de pie. Etiendan sus manos hacia los niños. I'm going to have Pastor Kim bless the children. Ivarecha Adonai veishmerecha Yave Adonai panavelecha fihunecha Isa Adonai Panavelecha Veasem Lecha Veasem Lecha Veasem Lecha Shalom Amen. It's so nice how they all sing it. Thank you, children. You guys can go back to your seats. Y en este mismo espíritu, in the same presence, we're going to collect our offerings and our tithes. For those of you that are watching online, you can go to www.tapministry.org and click on the donations tab. Y ustedes que están en línea eh, pueden entrar a la página de Tap Ministries en www.tapministry.org y hacer sus donaciones ahí. Y los que estamos aquí con un corazón agradecido, dando de lo que Dios ya nos ha entregado. Amén. So continuamos esta parte de adoración. Aleluya. Pueden pasar a traer sus diezmos y sus ofrendas. Oh 
Shabbat Shalom family. Shabbat Shalom once again. I'm glad to see all of you once again today in Shabbos. We are happy and we are um, enjoying this moment in the presence of the Creator. As you know, after the service, we have our covenant meal for the uh, local Mishpacha. For those who are watching online, Shabbat Shalom to you as well. Too bad you're not here with us. Otherwise, you will get to enjoy this exquisite banquet that we have after the service um, for Covenant Meal. Qué pena que los que nos están viendo en línea no están aquí con nosotros para disfrutar de este banquete exquisito que tenemos hoy como parte de nuestra cena de convenio. Yeah, we do this once a month. I believe that it's unique, it's important, and every believer in Messiah should be a participator when it comes to these, a partaker when it comes to uh, the Covenant Meal. Hacemos esto una vez al mes y yo entiendo que cada creyente en el Mesías debe ser partícipe de una cena como esta. Um, I, was in the, I was at the sound booth when Sister Kayla was um, leading the song title Eres Digno. Yo estaba en el sonido cuando la hermana Kayla estaba dirigiendo la canción You Are Worthy. And if you didn't see me at the main center, I was either in the sound booth or in my office helping the media with some new uh, lower thirds. Uh, lower thirds is the things that comes in the bottom of the broadcast. Y si no me vio aquí era porque estaba en el sonido en la oficina ayudando a los departamentos de, de, de media este, con los, los mm. anuncios que salen a, a, a la parte baja de la pantalla. And and once I was done, I was like, okay, I, I have to really get myself together because I'm all over the place since this morning. Keep in mind that I went to bed almost at 5.30 uh, in the morning last night. Y una vez que terminé, me dije, tengo que reunir todas mis emociones porque estoy de aquí para allá y mantengan en mente que estuve, me acosté a las 4 de la mañana anoche. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know how there's people who can enjoy worship. Y voy a ser honesto, no sé cómo hay personas que no pueden disfrutar de la adoración. Because all I did was just put myself together, sit down, bow my head, close my eyes, connect with the Creator, and from that moment on, all I was able to feel it was this pour of rain all over me, and I started crying and feeling the presence of God. And, and something that the presence of God does with you is that it humbles you, humbles you down. Porque una vez recogí mis emociones, lo que hice fue sentarme, postré mi cabeza y me conecté con el Creador y comencé a sentir una lluvia de su presencia sobre mí. Y lo que un, una de las cosas que hace la adoración es que te humilla. The presence of God humbles you. La presencia de Dios te hace humilde. So those that are proudful or has certain issues with ego is just lack of the presence of God in their life. Entonces aquellos que son orgullosos o que tienen algún problema de egocentrismo es falta de la presencia de Dios en su vida. And I'm not saying that you're not to be cocky. Some of us are very cocky when it comes to the way that we behave, we talk, and we address ourselves to others. But I'm talking about humble yourself in the front of the presence of the Creator where you come to know that you are dust and you are in need of redemption like everyone else in this world. Y yo sé que algunas veces somos un poco sabelo todo cuando nos dirigimos a otra persona, pero estoy hablando de cuando uno viene y, y se da de cuenta que es simplemente polvo y se humilla delante de la presencia del creador. And um and it was it was a beautiful beautiful experience for me. Y fue una experiencia muy hermosa para and mí. You could get, you could you could enjoy the same thing. All you have to do is forget about who's right next to you, close your eyes and connect with heaven and um and you're going to experience something you probably have never experienced before in your life. Y usted puede experimentar esto también. Lo que tiene que hacer es cerrar sus ojos y olvidarse de la persona que está a su lado y usted puede experimentar la presencia de Dios en su vida. All right. Amen. Vamos a darle un aplauso al Señor, ¿verdad? Let's give God a great round of applause to start. Because of His presence, His Ruach HaKodesh, that is always with us, even when we are not as best. For him. Por su presencia y su Espíritu Santo que siempre está con nosotros, aun cuando nosotros no estamos dando lo máximo. Okay. Uh, well, how many of you are ready for today's teaching? ¿Cuántos de ustedes están listos para la enseñanza de hoy? As you already know, today's 
teaching is the sequence of last week's teaching. Como ya saben, la enseñanza de hoy es la secuencia de la de la semana pasada. And it has to do with how to judge a matter. Y tiene que ver en cómo to do it. And sometimes when we do it, we do it in the wrong way. Using the wrong protocol. And the Bible says that we are to judge with a righteous judgment. And um, many of us, unfortunately, don't like to judge others because we have a, a wrong misconception of Matthew 7.1. Y muchas veces a nosotros no nos gusta juzgar a otros porque tenemos el concepto equivocado de Mateo 7.1. You know, you're not to judge. Que, que uno no debe juzgar. And like I said last week, there's people who tattooed in their back, only God can judge me. Y como dije la semana pasada, hay personas que se tatúan la espalda diciendo que dice solamente Dios puede juzgar. And it's not true. We have to judge every day. Y no es cierto. Nosotros tenemos que juzgarlo todo. Another word for judging is discernment. Otra palabra para juzgar es discernimiento. And that's something that we have to do in our daily basics. Y eso es algo que tenemos que hacer en nuestra vida diario. Every day we have to discern what is good for us and what is not good. Todos los días tenemos que discernir lo que es bueno para nosotros y lo que no lo es. Every day we have to discern who's good to be around us and who's not good to be around us. Cada día tenemos que discernir quién es bueno para que esté alrededor nuestro y quién no lo es. So you see, you have to judge every day. Así que todos los días usted debe juzgar. Now, when it comes to judging others, Ahora, viene a de, en, en a a otros, there are certain protocols that you need to follow. Hay que uno debe de and first and foremost, you have to make sure that you have, that you have been assigned to judge someone else. Because not everyone can judge someone else. Porque no todos pueden juzgar a otra persona. We could judge. We could judge every day. Podemos juzgar todos los días. But there are certain matters that you are not allowed to judge. Pero hay algunos asuntos que usted no se le es permitido juzgar. Even myself, for example, when a, when a case comes to my hands to be judged, I like to pass it down to someone else because there are certain things that I know that I could judge and I know certain things that I know I can judge. Uh, aún yo mismo, por ejemplo, cuando viene el momento de juzgar a otras personas, a mí me gusta darle la, respons la responsabilidad a otras personas porque yo sé que hay ciertos asuntos que yo puedo juzgar y hay ciertos asuntos que yo no puedo juzgar. Last week we were talking about the structure of the court. La eh, semana pasada estuvimos hablando de la estructura de la corte. Because that's how we're going to divide this teaching. The Por first segment has to do with the structure of the court. Porque así vamos a dividir esta enseñanza. El primer segmento tiene que ver con la estructura de la corte. And the second segment has to do with the protocol that you are to follow at the moment of judging a matter or being judged by others. Y la segunda parte es el protocolo que usted debe seguir cuando tiene que ver con juzgar un asunto o juzgar a una persona. All right, so are you ready guys for today? Así que están listos para hoy. So tell to the person next to you, don't disturb me, I'm about to start learning. Dígale a la persona que está a, mi la a su lado, no me molestes que voy a aprender. Leave me alone. Déjeme quieto. So make sure the camera is good. Make sure the lens is as far as possible from my face. <laughs> I don't want it so close to me because I have this thing right here that's been bothering me for the past five days and I don't want it to be so noticeable online. So make sure it goes far, 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 far. Move the, go to the street, cross the street if you have to and record me from there. All right. Um, Something that we learned last week, it was about this issue that has to do with the church and Israel. Algo que aprendimos la semana pasada es este asunto que tiene que ver con la iglesia y Israel. And how, unfortunately, today in certain segments, in certain um, denominations of the Christian world, they have divided Israel and the church. Y como en ciertas de denominaciones del, del mundo han desafortunadamente han dividido la iglesia e Israel. And they think that Yeshua came to establish a new religion. Y piensan que Yeshua vino a establecer una religión nueva. And Yeshua did not establish a new religion. Y Yeshua no estableció una religión nueva. Yeshua was not a Christian. Yeshua no era un cristiano. All right, let's keep that on front. He was not a Christian. Y tengamos eso bien claro, que él no era cristiano. And, um, 
we get into a lot of trouble trying to explain to people that we are, in fact, Israel. Y nos metemos en muchos problemas tratando de explicar a las personas que de hecho nosotros sí somos Israel. Because many people that don't understand this concept will probably think that we are teaching replace, replacement theology. Porque muchas personas que no entienden este concepto quizás pensarían que estamos enseñando el, la teología del reemplazo. Or someone else might judge me or judge this assembly in the fact that no, no, Israel is Israel and the church is the church. You have to find identity. Y, o alguien nos podría jugar o jugarme a mí o a esta iglesia diciendo no Israel es Israel y la iglesia es la iglesia usted tiene que buscar identidad and that contradicts everything the scripture stands for y eso contradice todo lo de lo que la escritura dice Jeremiah 31 31 it says that God was about to do a new covenant a brich hadasha with who Jeremías 31 31 dice que Dios iba a hacer un nuevo pacto con quién with the Christian church con la iglesia cristiana with United States of America con los Estados Unidos de América with England con Inglaterra with who con quién with the house of Judah and the house of Israel con la casa de Judá y la casa de Israel so from the very beginning we get to see that that new covenant that God is about to do with the people is not with the Gentile nations but with the house of Israel así que desde el mismo principio podemos ver que ese nuevo pacto que Dios iba a hacer con su pueblo no era con los, la, la nación gentil sino con la, con Israel. And why God needs to make a new covenant with the house of Israel? Y por qué Dios tiene que hacer un nuevo pacto con la casa de Israel? Because the covenant at the beginning was established with Abraham, Yitzhak, and Jacob. Porque el, el pacto en el principio fue establecido con Abraham, Isaac, y Jacob. When the people go to Mount Sinai and they receive the covenant. Cuando el pueblo fue al monte Sinaí recibieron el pacto. Once they say everything that is in the book of the covenant we're going to follow. Una vez dijeron todo lo que diga el libro del pacto seguiremos. What happens? They commit adultery. ¿Qué sucedió? Cometieron adulterio. They decided to start worshiping this golden calf at that very moment. Decidieron comenzar a adorar este becerro de oro en ese momento. So the covenant that God did with the nation of Israel. Así que el pacto que Dios hizo con la nación de Israel. It was broken by the people. Fue roto por el pueblo. This is why when you go to the book of Ezekiel chapter 20. Por eso cuando uno va a Ezequiel capítulo 20. In specific verse 25. En específico el versículo 21. Ver 25. 25. God says that God was about to give, or God gave to the people of Israel new laws or laws which, is, which the people were not going to be able to live by. Dice que Dios le dio al pueblo nuevas leyes que el pueblo no podría seguir. You see, God had two, God had two options in the times of Moses. Dios tuvo dos opciones en los tiempos de Moisés. When the people of Israel committed adultery, cuando el pueblo de Israel cometió adulterio, there were two options on the table. Habían dos opciones sobre la mesa. How many of you know the first option? ¿Cuántos saben la primera opción? What was the first option? ¿Cuál era la primera opción? To destroy the entire nation and start fresh with Moses. Destruir la nación completa y comenzar nuevamente con Moisés. But Moses starts interceding in behalf of the name of the Creator. Pero Moisés comienza a interceder a favor del nombre de Israel, del so, nombre del Creador. So, what we see happening now Así que lo que vemos que está ahora, is that God called Moses then es que Dios llamó a Moisés, to give him a new set of rules. Para darle un nueva, una nuevas, unas nuevas leyes, a new set of laws. Unas nuevas reglas. And, and why is that? ¿Y por qué es esto? Because according to Paul we know something very interesting. Porque de acuerdo a Pablo, vemos algo muy interesante. Once a covenant has been ratified by blood, una vez un pacto ha sido ratificado con sangre, no one can add or take away from it. Nadie puede añadir o quitarle. So we get to see that God already gave the covenant to the people of Israel. Así que vemos que ya Dios le había dado el pacto al pueblo de Israel. Blood ratification took place. Tomó lugar la ratificación de sangre. You know, when Moses took the blood, cuando Moisés tomó la sangre and he sprinkled the covenant and he sprinkled the people and he said this is the blood of the covenant that God does with you today y salpicó al pacto salpicó al pueblo y dijo este es el pacto que Dios hace contigo you see once that covenant has been ratified, ratified by blood una vez ese pacto ha sido ratificado con sangre no one can add to it or take away from it nadie puede añadirle o quitarle but in Exodus chapter 24 verse 12 we get to see that God is telling Moses come on up because I have all the rules to give you. 
Pero vemos que en Éxodo capítulo 24, Dios le está diciendo a Moisés, sube porque tengo otras reglas para darte. That doesn't make any sense. Y eso no, no hace sentido. The covenant had already got ratified by blood. El pacto ya había sido rectificado con sangre. A covenant meal already took place. Ya había tomado lugar la cena del pacto. So why God is adding new set of laws? ¿Por qué entonces Dios está poniendo una nueva, unas nuevas leyes? Because the people broke the covenant. Porque el pueblo rompió el pacto. So in order to maintain the nation alive, Así que para mantener la nación viva, he decided, the creator, to give this new set of laws él decidió, el creador, dar estas nuevas leyes to the people of Israel, al pueblo de Israel so they could be able to walk a little bit longer into the time of Messiah. Para que pudieran caminar un poco más hasta el tiempo del Mesías. This is why Paul says And he asked this question, why the law was given to us? Por eso es que Pablo dice y pregunta, ¿por qué fue que la ley nos fue dada? He said it was added y él dice, fue añadida because of the transgression por la transgresión until the time of Messiah. Hasta el tiempo del Mesías. You see, that word added, you have heard me hear, saying this many times before. Y esa palabra añadida me han escuchado decirlo muchas veces antes. In Greek, when you go to this very chapter, it says prostitemi. En griego, cuando uno va a este capítulo, dice prostitemi. And that's where we get the word Prosthesis from. Y de ahí sacamos la palabra prótesis. So basically the people of Israel had a prostitemi added to the, to the nation, added to the people, so they could walk until the Redeemer came. Así que básicamente el pueblo tuvo una prótesis añadida para poder caminar hasta que el Redentor viniera. So this is why Jeremiah 31, 31 says that God is about to do a new covenant with the same people that broke the covenant. Por eso es que Jeremías 31, 31 dice que Dios va, está a punto de hacer un nuevo pacto con el mismo pueblo que rompió el pacto. Keep that in mind. Mantenga esto en mente. He's not making a new covenant with someone else. Él no está haciendo un nuevo pacto con otra gente. He's making the covenant with the same people that torn and broke the covenant in Mount Sinai. Él está haciendo un pacto con el mismo pueblo que rompió el pacto en el monte Sinaí. So when Yeshua came, Así que cuando Yeshua vino, when he came, cuando vino, we get to see him having a covenant meal with his disciples. Vemos que él tiene una cena de pacto con sus discípulos. He breaks the bread. Él parte el pan. He blessed the wine. Bendice el vino. He gave it to the disciples to drink. Se los dio a los discípulos a comer. And this is what he says. Y esto fue lo que dijo. This is the new covenant. Este es el nuevo pacto. That I do with many. Que yo hago con muchos. That's a reference to Jeremiah 31, 31. Esa es una referencia a Jeremías 31, 31. So when we go to the book of Romans chapter 11. Así que cuando vamos a Romanos capítulo 11. We get to see that Paul is saying the following words. Vemos que Pablo está diciendo las siguientes palabras. That we as Gentiles. Que nosotros como gentiles. We have been grafted in to the commonwealth of Israel. Hemos sido injertados al pueblo de Israel. So if you see this. Así que si usted ve esto. God is not planting a new tree to graft you to it Dios no está sembrando un nuevo árbol para engendrarte en él He already has a tree Él ya tiene un árbol And it's the commonwealth of Israel the nation of Israel Y es la nación de Israel which it has nothing to do with ethnicity Que no tiene nada que ver con con raza It has nothing to do with a geographical location No tiene nada que ver con una ubicación geográfica Keep that in mind Mantenga esto en mente Being part of the commonwealth of Israel has nothing to do with you being born in Israel. Ser parte de la nación de Israel no tiene nada que ver el que usted haya nacido en Israel. It has nothing to do with you doing aliyah to the Jewish state of Israel. No tiene nada que ver el que usted haga aliyah a la nación judía de Israel. From the very beginning, desde el mismo principio, the nation of Israel, la nación de Israel, was a multitude of, of many races. Era una multitud de muchas razas. It was a mixture of people from the very beginning. Era una mezcla de personas desde el mismo principio. So it has nothing to do with you being from the tribe of Judah or trying to figure out if your last name is in the Sephardic book of the Sephardic last names or not. It has nothing to do with that. No tiene nada que ver que si usted vino de la tribu de Judá o si su apellido tiene, está escrito en los libros sefarditas, no tiene nada que ver con eso. If you are in Messiah, si usted está en Mesías, then you are Entonces, usted sons es and daughters of Abraham. 
hijos e hijas de Abraham. So since we are sons and daughters of Abraham, así que como somos hijos e hijas de Abraham, and we are part of the commonwealth of Israel according to Romans 11, y somos parte de la nación de Israel de acuerdo a Romanos 11, there's no such thing as a new Christian church religion. No hay una tal cosa como una iglesia cristiana. When you go to the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 18, listen to what Yeshua says to Kephas, Peter. Cuando uno va a Mateos, capítulo 16, versículo 18, mire lo que Pedro le dice, lo que Yeshua le dice a Pedro. And I tell you, you are Petros. Y así te digo, tú eres Petros. Please, my slides, please, guys, my slides. Hurry up, hurry up. And I tell you, you are Peter, Petros, and on this rock I will build my ecclesia. Y te digo, tú eres Pedro, y en, sobre esta piedra edificate, edificaré mi iglesia. You see that word right there, ecclesia? Usted ve esa palabra ahí, ecclesia? It doesn't say church. No dice iglesia, it says, no dice es, church. It says ecclesia. Dice ecclesia. We got this fixed last week, right? We talk about the word church, where the word church comes from, right? Y la semana pasada arreglamos esto y sabemos de dónde viene la palabra en inglés church. It has to do with circus. Tiene que ver con circo. It has nothing to do with ecclesia. No tiene nada que ver con ecclesia. And when you go to certain churches today, you get to see that the definition circus fits right in. Y cuando uno va a ciertas iglesias hoy, usted ve que la definición de circo en Perfectamente. That word iglesia, ecclesia, Esa palabra, ecclesia, means those that have been called out from among others, significa aquellos que han sido llamados de entre otros, those who were appointed or summoned or designated. Aquellos que fueron nombrados o designados. So the word ecclesia and iglesia, perfect definition in Spanish from the Greek. Así que la palabra eclesia e iglesia es una definición perfecta del español al griego. You see, but once the eclesia split from first century foundation and structure, pero una vez que la eclesia se desgarró de la, el, la fundación del primer siglo y la estructura, they come with this ideology that Jesus, Yeshua of Nazareth, established the Christian religion. Ellos vienen con esta idea de que Yeshua, Jesús, estableció la religión cristiana. And from that moment we get to, we lose our identity not only with the covenant but also with the commonwealth of Israel. Y desde ese momento perdimos nuestra identidad no solamente con el pacto sino con la nación de Israel. When you read the Septuagint cuando uno lee la Septuaginta, which is the Greek manuscript of the Tanakh, que es, son los manuscritos griegos del Tanakh, that word ecclesia is all over the place when God is referring to one nation. Esa palabra ecclesia está por todas partes cuando Dios se refiere a una nación. That word ecclesia it has to do with the nation of Israel. Esa palabra ecclesia tiene que ver con la nación de Israel. Another word in Hebrew, in fact, ecclesia comes from a Hebrew word that is mikra. Eclesia viene de una palabra hebrea que es mikra. And mikra has to do a convocation. Y mikra tiene que ver con una convocación. Those that have been called out of Egypt, out of Egypt, out of Egypt. Aquellos que fueron llamados fuera de Egipto. Remember what Moses told Pharaoh? Recuerdan lo que Moisés le dijo al faraón? Let my people go. Deja mi pueblo ir. So they could do what? Para que puedan hacer qué? Does anyone know? Alguien sabe? Say it louder. Don't be afraid. Let my people go so they could go and celebrate feast to the Creator. Deja mi pueblo ir para poder, que puedan ir y celebrar fiestas al Creador. That's what I'm telling many pastors today. Y eso es lo que le estoy diciendo a muchos pastores hoy. Let the people go. Deja al pueblo ir. Let the people free. Deja al pueblo libre. So they could honor the Creator on the right days, the right moments, the right feasts, the right celebrations, para right? Para que puedan honrar al Creador en los tiempos correctos, en las celebridades but, correctas. But many of them will tell you that you don't need to do that. Pero muchos de ellos te dirán que usted no necesita hacer esto. And why they say that? Y que, ¿por qué dicen esto? Because they have lost their identity with the commonwealth of Israel and with the covenant that God did with our nation. Porque han perdido su identidad con el pueblo de Israel y con el pacto que Dios hizo con nuestra nación. So that word ecclesia, it has nothing to do with the 21st century church. Así que esa palabra eclesia no tiene nada que ver con la iglesia del, del siglo XXI. Del siglo XXI. That word eclesia has to do with Jeremiah 31:31. 31. Esa palabra. And uh, 
Leviticus chapter 23. Esa palabra eclesia tiene que ver con Jeremías 31:31 y Levíticos 23. So you see, if you don't have this foundation, así que si usted no tiene esta fundación, if you don't know where you come from, where your roots are, si usted no conoce de dónde viene y dónde están sus raíces, how are you going to be able to judge a matter? ¿Cómo usted va a poder juzgar un asunto? If you don't have this, the right foundation, si usted no tiene la fundación correcta, and then you come and apply Matthew 7:1 that you're not to judge no one. Y entonces vienes y aplicas Mateo 7.1 que dice que no tienes que juzgar a nadie. When that's in total contradiction to what the scripture stands for. Cuando eso está en total contradicción de lo que dice la escritura. We spoke about the structure in details last week. Hablamos de la estructura con detalles la semana pasada. We spoke about how the core was formed. Hablamos de cómo fue formada la corte. We spoke about the Nazi. Hablamos de los Nazi. No Nazi. No, Nazis. Every time Kayla sees me, she goes, Roe Nazi. No. <laughs> mala que eres. Mala, 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 mala. Nazis is another word for prince or president. Nazi es otra palabra para príncipe o presidente. And that's, believe it or not, that's how the elders and the pastors, the, pa the senior pastors back then were called. They were called Nazi. Y así eran como los ancianos y los pastores principales eran llamados en ese entonces. Another word is the Hassan. Otra palabra son los Hassan. Which is a preacher. Que es un predicador. Someone that preached behind a wooden pulpit. Alguien que predica detrás de un púlpito de madera. Then we have the parasim. Después tenemos los parasim. No the parasites. No los parásitos. The parasim. Sino los parasim. Which is a Hebrew word for deacon. Que es una palabra hebrea para diácono. We have the shaliach. Tenemos los shaliach. Which is the apostles. Que son los apóstoles. An emissary. Un emisario. And, and it's interesting because the word apostle has nothing to do with the new... With, with, Many people think that the apostles were born in the New Testament. Muchas personas piensan que los apóstoles nacieron en el Nuevo Testamento. The first apostle was Adam. El primer apóstol fue Adán. Because Shalia comes from Shalak and it has to do with someone that is sending someone for a purpose. Porque Shalia tiene que ver con Shalá y es alguien que está sido está siendo enviado con un propósito. You know? For example, the 12 spies in the times of Moses. Por ejemplo, los 12 espías en los tiempos de Moisés. These 12 spies are called the 12 shaliachs. Estos 12 espías son llamados los 12 shaliachs. Emissaries, apostles. Emisarios, apóstoles. It has to do with someone that is going in behalf of someone with a message. Eh, tiene que ver con alguien que va de parte de otra persona con un mensaje. We have the scholars. Tenemos los estudiosos, los we eruditos. Have, we have the magid. Tenemos los magi. Which has nothing to do with ma uh, magic. Que no tiene nada que ver con magia. The magi were called, uh, it was the Hebrew name for the evangelists back then. Los magi era el nombre hebreo para evangelistas en ese entonces. For example, the magi that came to pay a visit to Yeshua when he was born. Por ejemplo, los magi que vinieron a visitar a Yeshua cuando nació. The wise men. Los sabios del oriente. They were magi. Eran magi. Disciples of Daniel the prophet. Discípulos de Daniel el profeta. That's another teaching. Y eso es otra enseñanza. We have the elders. Tenemos los ancianos. We have the more. Tenemos los more. And the more, which is a teacher. Y el more, que es un maestro. Everything's good? Okay. I thought you were sending me signals. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't read that. It's too far. <laughs> So, so the Magid, los, I'm sorry, uh, more, the More, los more uh, is what we know as teachers. Es lo que conocemos como maestros. In the Jewish rabbinical world, they're known, they're known as rabbi. En los, en el mundo del judaísmo, se conocen como rabbi. And the More is in biblical times, it was not only a teacher, it was, all, it was also a prophet. Y los More en los tiempos bíblicos no eran solamente See, un maestro, sino también profetas. Because someone that doesn't know Torah, porque alguien que no conoce Torah can prophesy. no puede profetizar. What he's going to be prophesizing about if he doesn't know the structure of que, a prophecy. Que no, ¿De qué va a estar profetizando si no conoce la estructura de una profecía? The Romans 13 says you are to know a prophet by this. Du, 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 du. And it adds, if he makes you disobey the commandments, he's a false prophet. So anyone that comes to you in the name of Rabashanda Shanda Roja, And told you to disobey the commandments of God is a false prophet according to scripture. Well, el Deuteronomio dice que usted conocerá un profeta por es, todo esto y dice que si uh, te hace desobedecer los mandamientos es un falso profeta. Así que cualquiera que venga a ti en nombre de Rabashanda y te dice que desobedezca los mandamientos es un falso profeta. Hey, Sharbayakia, no Rambo Hasta la batata. Rambo saca la bazooka. You see, we're good on this. We could be in Pentecostal churches. We would, we would blend right in. Now, Listen to this. Escuche esto. A more, a teacher of scripture. 
Humore, un, el maestro de la palabra. Is also a prophet according to the structure of the first century. También es un profeta de acuerdo a la estructura del primer siglo. Last but not least, we have the Mertugan. Por último, tenemos el Mertugan. Mertugan. She is a Mertugan. Ella es un Mertugan. Why? Because she's translating. ¿Por qué? Porque está traduciendo. First century synagogues. La eh, sinagoga del primer siglo. All the synagogues in the first century. Todas las sinagogas en el primer siglo. And there were almost 500 of them in Jerusalem alone. Y habían casi 500 en Jerusalén solamente. They all had the services of a Mertugan. Todos tenían el servicio de un Mertugan. An interpreter. Un, interpre un intérprete. And why they needed an interpreter? ¿Y por qué necesitaban un intérprete? Because not everyone spoke Aramaic or, I mean, Hebrew. Porque no todos hablaban hebreo. The majority spoke Greek. La mayoría hablaba griego. The known language in certain sector was Aramaic. Algunos sectores hablaban arameo. But not everyone spoke Hebrew. Pero no todos hablaban en hebreo. So they needed the services of a Mertugan Así que necesitaban los servicios del Mertugan to translate the teachings. Para que traduciera las enseñanzas. The Mertugan was, was stand on a balcony. El Mertugan se paraba en un balcón. And whatever he hears from the teacher, y lo que él escuchaba del maestro, he would shout it through the rooftops. Él lo gritaba a las azoteas. So everyone could hear it. Para que todos lo pudieran escuchar. Remember when Yeshua said, whatever you hear in the ears, shout on the rooftops? Recuerda lo que Yeshua dijo, lo que escuches al oído, grítalos en las azoteas. In a spiritual sense, we are all Mertugans. Y en un sentido espiritual, nosotros todos somos Mertugans. Because we are shouting to the four corners of this world, the message of salvation. Porque estamos gritando a las cuatro esquinas de este mundo, el mensaje de salvación. And to those that are saved, y para aquellos que ya están salvos, we are interpreting the principles of law and order. Estamos interpretando los principios de ley y orden. Torah. Torah. Covenant. Pacto. So believe it or not, I can speak English or Spanish. Así que aunque usted no lo crea, yo puedo hablar inglés o español. And be in another assembly which they speak Spanish as well. Y estar en otra asamblea que también hable español. And the message that they have. Y el mensaje que ellos tengan. Related to the Torah. Relacionada a la Torah. Is a completely mess. Este completamente erróneo. So they need your services. Así que ellos necesitan tus servicios. If they ask you. Si te lo piden. No, lo, no se meta en party que no lo han invitado, ¿ok? Don't get into a party that you were invited to. If you are invited. Si eres invitado. To explain a matter. Para explicar un asunto. Then you could translate, interpret the meaning of Torah and covenant. So do the services of Mertugan to an assembly that don't know nothing about covenant. Entonces usted puede interpretar el asunto de acuerdo a la Torá para aquellos que no conocen nada de la Torá. For example, we have the Targum. Por ejemplo, tenemos el Targum, which is the Aramaic translation of the Tanakh. Que es la versión aramea del Tanakh. One of the oldest manuscripts. Uno de los manuscritos más antiguos. Is even older than the Masoretic text itself. Es aún más antiguo que los textos masoréticos. The reason why it's called Targum la razón por la que se llama Targum because it was translated es porque fue eh, traducido from ancient Hebrew to Aramaic del antiguo hebreo a arameo okay but that will be another teaching pero eso sería otra enseñanza this is the structure esta es la estructura of the core de la corte these are the ones who are called to judge estos son los que fueron llamados a juzgar so if you're not a Nasi así que si no eres Nasi if you're not a Hassan si no eres Hassan if you're not a uh, I was going to say Parasite a Parnasim <laughs> si no eres Parnasim if you're not a More a Navi si no eres More o Navi if you're not within the Sanhedrin of elders si no estás dentro de los ancianos del Sanhedrin when it comes to judge others cuando tiene que ver con juzgar a otros you don't have that authority tú no tienes esa autoridad Facebook does not give you that authority. Facebook no te da esa autoridad. Just because you open an account with a Jewish name, Ben Elion Mertungan, that doesn't mean you get the right to judge everyone that you know on Facebook. Simplemente porque abres una cuenta con un nombre hebreo, eso no te da el derecho de juzgar a todos los que están en Facebook. The proper way to judge a matter el, la manera correcta de juzgar un asunto it starts by Looking for the people that are assigned to judge a matter. Comienza buscando a las personas que están asignadas para juzgar un asunto. Me, for example, I don't have the authority to judge a cop. Yo, por ejemplo, no tengo la autoridad de juzgar un policía. What I would do then? 
¿Qué yo haría en ese entonces? I will present my case to a higher authority. Yo presentaría mi caso a una autoridad más alta. To his superior. Al superior. Internal affair. Internal affair, asuntos, inter asuntos internos. From there we go to a court. Y de ahí vamos a una corte. District court. A una corte del distrito. Supreme court. A la corte superior. The point is that I have to look for someone in authority in order to judge someone that is already in authority. El punto es que yo tengo que buscar a alguien en autoridad para poder juzgar a alguien que ya está en autoridad. You can take justice on your own hands and establish your own authority over someone that has been anointed with certain authority. Usted no puede tomar las cosas en su propia mano y coger esta autoridad sobre alguien que ya ha sido ungido con cierta autoridad. So that's step number one. Así que ese es el paso número uno. Look for people that are in authority. Busque a personas que sí están en autoridad. If you have something against someone in this house, si usted tiene algo en contra de otra persona en you don't have casa, the authority to judge that person. Tú no tienes autoridad para juzgar a esa persona. You don't have the authority to criticize that person. Tú no tienes la autoridad de criticar a esa persona. Hello, I'm not talking to no one here, guys. Y yo no estoy hablando de a nadie aquí. It's other ecclesias they Son have the same issue. Otras iglesias que tienen estos problemas. What you have to do is look for someone in authority. Lo que tienes que hacer es buscar a alguien en autoridad. Present your case to that person. Presentarle tu caso en esa a esa persona. And then we take it from there. Y de ahí seguimos al otro paso. But if you have the benefit. Pero si tú tienes el beneficio. Of resolving this issue with that person without going to any authority. De resolver este asunto con esa persona sin tener que ir a ninguna autoridad. Go ahead. Hágalo. Talk to that person. Háblele Matthew 18 a esa persona. is this, Matthew 18 is the precedence that established this principle. Mateo 18 es el precedente que establece este principio. You know, I'm going to talk about that later. Let me talk about those that have been placed in authority. Y voy a hablar de eso más, más luego. Déjeme hablar de los que están en autoridad. Exodus 18, verse 21 and 22. Listen to what it says. Exodus 18, 21 y 22. Escuche lo que dice. Furthermore, you should select out of all the people, able men who fear God, men of truth, those who hate the son as gain, and you should place these over them as leaders of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. Let them judge the people at all times, and let it be that every major dispute they will bring it to you, but every minor dispute they themselves will judge, so it will be easier for you, and they will bear and they will bear, bear the burden with you. So number one. Así que número uno. They must be what? Tienen que ser como? What is this there? ¿Qué dice ahí? People who fear God. Temerosos de Dios. Then. Y luego. People of truth. Hombres honestos. People of truth. Hombres. De verdad. De verdad. De valor. It's interesting because today we have people with truth. Es interesante porque hoy en día no tenemos a personas con la verdad. Lo que tenemos es una bola y pila de mentirosos. What we have is a bunch of liars. Something that I learned and I was sharing this with someone in this assembly. Algo que yo aprendí y estaba eh, compartiendo esto con alguien en esta asamblea. You know how people respect you and fear you? ¿Sabes cómo las personas te temen y te respetan? If you're a man of your word. Si tú eres un hombre de palabra. If you're a man of your word, si tú eres hombre de palabra, people will respect you. Las personas te respetarán. People will even fear you. Las personas aún te temerán. Because they know that what you said, porque saben que lo que dices, you're going to come through it. Lo vas a cumplir. There's nothing worse than talking with someone that doesn't have any type of character. No hay nada peor que hablar con alguien que no tiene ningún tipo de carácter. Si usted da su palabra, if you give your word, su palabra es su crédito. Your word is like your credit. I really dislike when I talk to people that they give me a word and then out of nowhere the word vanish through the space of the universe if there is one. Me, a mí me disgusta mucho las personas que me dan una palabra y de momento esa palabra se desvanece en el universo si es That person lose credibility. Esa persona pierde credibilidad. You must have truth. Usted tiene que andar en verdad. You must have a word. Tienes que tener palabra. You could be very talented. Puede ser muy talentoso. But if you don't have character with your word, pero si no tienes carácter con tu palabra, you suck. No sirves. Those who hate the son is gain. Aquellos que odian el lucro deshonesto. You think I'm in ministry because of the gain? Usted piensa que yo estoy en ministerio a causa del lucro? Yeah, the spirit to gain. Sí, el lucro espiritual. If you see a picture of me seven years ago and now, 
Si usted ve una, una foto de mí siete años antes yeah, y I've ahora. Yeah, I have been getting a lot older. Sí, yo he, he ganado mucha, muchos años. In the first two years, I look three times older than when I started ministry. En los primeros dos años, yo me veía tres veces más anciano. anciano que cuando comencé el ministerio. You don't see the grace because I cover them with <laughs> just for men. <laughs> usted no ve las canas porque me las cubrí con el tinte de hombre. I was telling this to someone. Y yo le estaba diciendo esto a alguien. I'm not going to mention no name. Y no voy a mencionar nombres. He's not here. No está aquí. I was telling him, if you get involved in ministry to gain something, le dije, si te envuelves en ministerio para ganar algo, to gain something, if it's not a spiritual, si, si quieres ganar algo y no es espiritual, then you're wasting your time. Entonces estás perdiendo tu tiempo. Because something that I have learned over the years that in ministry, financially, you don't gain. You invest. Porque algo que he aprendido en los años es que en el ministerio financieramente uno no gana, sino que uno invierte. My wife and I, and, and some, and I can't take credit for everything, but from the beginning, who wanted to sustain this ministry, it was my wife and I. We invest our total paychecks to this ministry. En el principio, y no puedo tomar crédito por todo, pero en el principio quien sostenía este ministerio era mi esposa y yo, que dábamos todo el cheque. I'm blessed that we have people now that contribute and help us. Y estoy bendecido que ahora hay personas que nos ayudan y contribuyen. Even those are some that believe in tithing. But that's not for you. The sun is getting, and you should place them as leaders of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and tens. Let them judge the people at all times. So you see, if you don't have this requirement, si usted no tiene estos requisitos, maybe that's the reason why you're not in position. Quizás por esa razón usted no está, tiene una posición. And if you are placed in position, y si usted es puesto en una posición, and you lack in any of these requirements, y le falta alguno de estos requisitos, you should check yourself. Usted debe de verificarse. Deuteronomy 1, verse 13 to 18. Listen to what it says. Deuteronomy 1, del 13 al 18. Mire lo que dice. This is, I, I love this verse. Y me gusta mucho este versículo. Choose some well-respected men from each tribe who are known for their wisdom and understanding and I will appoint them as your leaders. Then you responded, your plan is good one. It's a good one. So I took the wise and respected men you have selected from your tribes and appointed them to serve as shoftim, judges, and officials over you. Excuse me. Some were appointed, some were responsible for a thousand people, some for hundreds, some for fifty, and some for ten. At that time, I instructed judges, you must hear the case of your fellow Israelite and the, for, um, the stranger, the peregrine, the foreigner, for what is it? Foreigners. Living among you, be perfectly fair in your decisions and impartial in your judgments. Hear are the cases of those who are poor as well as those who are rich. Don't be afraid of anyone's anger for the decision you make is God's decision. Oh, I wish I could speak on that. Me encantaría poder hablar de eso. Let me point that out. Y déjeme ap apuntarlo aquí. Don't be afraid of anyone's anger for the decision you make is God's decision. So that means that the decision that an elder comes with is God's decision. Entonces quiere decir que la decisión que tome un anciano es la decisión de Dios. I'm going to tell you where that comes from. Y le voy a decir de dónde sale eso. If you read Deuteronomy chapter 17, I'm not going to go to the entire chapter. Si uno lee Deuteronomio 17 y no voy a ir por el capítulo entero. There has been a certificate granted to the elders. Ha, ha, hay un certificado que fue entregado a los ancianos. To judge matters. Para juzgar asuntos. In which whatever they bind in, in earth is bound in heaven. Que lo que ellos aten en la tierra es atado en los cielos. You know what that means, guys? ¿Y usted sabe lo que eso quiere decir? People online, you know what that means? Las personas en línea saben lo que quiere decir. You remember when Yeshua told the disciples that whatever you bound on earth will be bound in heavens, right? You remember that? Recuerdan cuando Yeshua le dijo a los discípulos lo que ates en la tierra será atado en los cielos. And whatever you set loose in heavens is set loose here on earth. Y lo que sueltes en la tierra será soltado aquí en el cielo. That has nothing to do with you rebuking devils. Eso no tiene nada que ver con reprender demonios. It has to do with a jurisdiction judicial authority that you and I have in ver, the kingdom of the creator. Tiene que ver con una autoridad jurídica que usted y yo tenemos en el reino. Yo te ato, yo te amarro, yo te suelto, te ato otra vez, te suelto, te mando a volar, te... I tie you, I bind you, I lose you up, I send you to fly, I kick you, I... 
I remember there was this uh, preacher back in my days when I was a young kid, and I used to love him the way that he used to rebuke devil. Recuerdo que cuando había eh, que había un predicador cuando yo era muy joven y me encantaba cómo reprendía demonios. Because he would use the following words Por, in Spanish. Porque él usaba las siguientes palabras en español. Diablo. Devil. Te ato con cadenas y grillos. I tie you up with chains and. Y grillete, um, I don't know how clothes, you call it. I don't know. Shackles? Te ato con cadenas y grillos. I bind you with chains and shackles. Y te envío a las profundidades del abismo. And I send you to the deepest of hells. Habitar con los tártaros. To, to live with the tártaros. I was like, man, this guy is, is rebuking devil. It's like reading poetry for this guy. You know, it's like. Reprender el demonio era como leer poesía para este hombre. You see, people think that the binding and setting loose it has to do with rebuking demons, demons, and that has nothing to do with the biblical context of why you bind and set loose. Eh, las personas piensan que el atar y soltar tiene que ver con reprender el demonio, si eso no tiene nada que ver con el contexto bíblico de lo que uno ata y suelta. In Deuteronomy chapter 17, en Deuteronomio 17, the Bible says, la Biblia dice, if there's a case that is too difficult for you to judge, que si hay un asunto que es muy difícil de usted juzgarlo, you bring it to the elders, uno lo lleva a los ancianos, and they will judge the matter, y ellos juzgarán el asunto, and whatever decision they made, y cualquier decisión que ellos tomen, you are to follow that decision, ustedes tienen que seguir esa decisión, don't move to the left, don't move to the right from it, no se puede ir ni a izquierda ni a la derecha, you must walk that under that set, um, Declaration. Usted tiene que caminar sobre esa declaración. And if you disobey this declaration, y si desobedece esa declaración, then you are rebel in rebellion against God. Entonces está en rebelión contra Dios. Because whatever the elders declare, porque lo que los ancianos declaren, that word will be honored by the Creator. Esa palabra será honrada por el Creador. The Roman 17 is the certificate of authority that God gave to those that are in authority. El de Deuteronomio 17 es el certificado de autoridad que Dios le dio a, aquel, a aquellos que están en autoridad. Let's, let's read it again. Let me go back. Let me go back. <laughs> Don't be afraid of anyone's anger for the decision that you make because it's what? God's decision. So whatever I decide with the counsel of the elders Así que lo que yo decida con el consejo de los ancianos is respected by the Creator es respetado por el Creador and you must abide to it. Y usted debe eh, cumplirlo. A, a la hora. Niños desobedientes. Praise him now, you disobedient children. Por eso una persona que le sirve al padre sin un, una asamblea. That's why a person that disobeys the father of, a, of an assembly. Una persona que está desconectado de una asamblea. A person that is disconnected from an assembly. Escucha lo que lo voy a decir. And listen to what I'm going to say. Usted tiene por obligación. You have to buy obligation. Conectar con una asamblea. To be connected to an assembly. Si no le gusta esta, If you don't like this one, busque una que le guste a usted. Look for one that you like. Hay muchas congregaciones mesiánicas por ahí. There's a lot of messianic congregations Pero usted out there. se tiene que conectar con una. But you have to be connected to one. God didn't call lonely rangers. Dios no llamó a llaneros solitarios. You have to be submitted and connected to a local assembly. Usted tiene que estar conectado y sometido a una asamblea local. That's what the scripture says. Eso es lo que dice la escritura. That's what, what Torah stands for. Eso es lo que la Torah representa. And don't come with that baloney. Y no venga con esa jamón. No, is it? Is it? <laughs> don't come with that pork ham saying that that church is corrupted pastor don't know what he's talking about so I got full with the jealousy of God I'm no not going to say the word because it's Sabbath but that's baloney y no venga con esa gusaraña de que el pastor no sabe de lo que está hablando no. y me llené del celo de Dios. What got offended is your pride. Your pride got offended. Lo que se ofendió fue su orgullo. Tu your, orgullo se ofendió. Your pride got offended and you decided to walk away. Tu orgullo se ofendió y decidiste alejarte. Instead of confront the issue according to Matthew 18 and Deuteronomy chapter 17. En vez de confrontar el asunto de acuerdo a Mateo 18 y Deuteronomio 17. Deuteronomy 17, 9 says, You should come to the Levitical priest or to the judge who is in the office in those days, and you should inquire of them, and they will declare. Oh, I thought we couldn't declare. Oh, yo pensé que no podíamos declarar. And they will declare to you the verdict in this case, or the sentence in this case. It's very clear. Está muy claro. 
This is why when someone, you see, it's very dangerous to be on a congregation when there is not a local Sanhedrin established. Es muy peligroso estar en una congregación cuando no hay un sanedrín local establecido. When their only leader is the shepherd of the house, run away. Cuando el único líder es el pastor de la iglesia, corra. When the only leader is the teacher of the assembly, run away. Cuando el único líder es el maestro de la asamblea, corra. You need to come to understand the Torah. Is Torah still standing today for us? Todavía la Torá está vigente hoy. So God demands a group of elders to establish decisions and judgments in every assembly today. Así que Dios demanda que un grupo de ancianos establezcan las decisiones en cada asamblea hoy. This is so known even in the secular world. Esto es tan conocido aún en el mundo secular. You can open a business by yourself. Usted no puede abrir un negocio por sí solo. You need to have a secretary, a treasurer, even if it's a DBA doing business as. You need to connect with other people in order to establish a corporation. Usted tiene que este, buscar a otras personas, una secretaria, un tesorero, aún si es un negocio pequeño. Tiene que buscar una junta para poder establecer una corporación. So, if there is an assembly, Así que si hay una asamblea, where there is not a local Sanhedrin established, donde no hay un Sanhedrin local establecido, that means that that assembly has no type of direction. Quiere decir que esa asamblea no tiene ningún tipo de dirección. And what is worst, y lo que es peor, no one is holding their teachings accountable. Nadie está accountable está eh, eh, dándole responsabilidad por las enseñanzas. For example, when I teach something here, por ejemplo, cuando yo enseño algo aquí, I receive questions from my elders. Yo recibo preguntas de mis ancianos. Is that correct? ¿Eso está correcto? Is this what it stands for? Esto es lo que quiere decir. Can you explain to me this better? ¿Me puedes explicar esto mejor? But when you are the teacher, the deacon, the worship leader, and the best amen is the one that you say for yourself. You know that. Pero cuando tú eres el el maestro, el pastor y el dirigente del coro. And no one can hold your teachings accountable. Y nadie te te te. No one can hold your teachings accountable. Nadie puede. Nadie cuestiona tus enseñanzas. Exacto. We have a problem. Tenemos un problema. You see, I'm not going to say the name of the congregation because I'm not going to do that. No va a decir el nombre de la congregación porque no voy a hacer eso. But there was this congregation inviting me to a debate in uh, Tennessee. Pero había esta congregación invitándome a un debate en Tennessee. And I was like, okay, so who's going to judge uh, the debate? Who's going to mediate the debate? Y yo dije, okay, entonces quién va a ser el mediador del debate? Oh, oh I'm going to do it. Oh, yo lo voy a hacer. Oh, but I thought I'm debating with you. Ah, pero yo pensé que yo iba a debatir contigo. Yeah, but I'm going to be the uh, debater and. Um, the mediator that has another name the mo monitor yeah so I'm like so you're going to be monitoring what I said my debate okay I see and who else is going to be there no just me and my wife and, and some brothers that come and I was like wow so you don't have no type of leadership running the ministry with you he said, no, no, God called me from this ministry. You know, I, I left this church because this church was doing this and the pastor was doing that. Once I start hearing that, I'm like, oh, Lord. I just pretend, God, for, forgive me. I was like, oh, I can't barely hear you. Hello. I hang up. I'm not going to waste my time like that. Yo no voy a perder mi tiempo así. People who live, who, who, people who decide to leave this assembly, for example, a, eh, personas que deciden dejar esta asamblea, por ejemplo. It's understandable if, if there's not a local assembly. Es, es, es comprensible si no hay una asamblea local. And you have to gather in your house with your family by yourself. I, that's, that's understandable. Y usted tiene que reunirse en su casa con su familia solo. Si eso I, es comprensible. I applaud that. Y yo aplaudo esto. That's good. You must keep doing that. Eso es bueno. Usted debe seguir haciendo esto. But if there is a local assembly. Pero si hay una asamblea local. And you decided not to connect or gather because you have certain, um, you bounce head with someone. Y usted decide no reunirse con ellos porque eh, tiene algunos problemas con otras personas. 
If you're not connected to a local assembly, si usted no está conectado con una asamblea local, and I'm not saying to become a member and pay your, your dues, I'm not, uh, you have to be connected. Being connected with an assembly is more than just tithing and giving you offerings. Y no estoy diciendo que sea, sea haga miembro, sino que esté conectado. Estar conectado con una asamblea es más que dar su ofrenda y diezmo. I, I don't see you as a member of TAP. Yo no te veo como un miembro de, de TAP. You are family to me. Tú eres familia para mí. And there is a code of honor that we must honor. Y hay un código de honra que debemos honrar. And one of those code of honor it has to do with honesty. Y uno de esos códigos de honra tiene que ver con honestidad. That if you see something that you're in disagreement with anyone in this house, que si tú ves algo que no estás de acuerdo a cualquiera de esta casa, you follow two chapters. Usted sigue dos capítulos. Deuteronomy 17, Deuteronomy 17, Matthew 18. Y Mateo 18. Don't depart from these two chapters. No se aparte de estos dos capítulos. This is how you are to judge a matter. De esta manera que usted debe de juzgar un This asunto. is how you are to deal with conflict. Así es como debe de resolver los conflictos. You're not going to run away because someone didn't understood you. Usted no va a huir porque alguien no te entendió. You're not going to run away because you're in disagreement with someone. No vas a irte porque alguien no está de acuerdo contigo. You're not going to run away because the pastor is a dead meat, is a pork chop, doesn't have no spiritual discernment, because apart from the pastor, there's still Dina, Juan, Jaime, Vanessa. There's still all the leaders here that you could present the case and say, listen, I think pastor needs to be replaced. You have the authority to do that. Usted no va a irse porque el pastor no está en la carne y no tiene nada del espiritual, porque aquí hay otros ancianos que pueden... Este, juzgar el asunto y usted tiene la autoridad para hacer esto. So there's no one else spiritual in this house? Así que no hay nadie más espiritual en esta casa. I'm the only spiritual person in this house? Yo soy el único espiritual aquí. There's elders in this house. Hay ancianos en esta casa. Someone told me. Alguien me dijo. I'm not going to come this Saturday because my back hurt. No, no vengo este sábado porque me duele la espalda. Then he told me, I'm not going the next Saturday because I'm depressed. No voy, y después me dijo, no voy el próximo sábado porque estoy deprimido. Then the person told me, um, no, is that I'm having certain conflicts with someone. Y después me dijo, no, es que estoy teniendo unos, unos problemas con alguien. And I asked this person, do you talk to this person already? Y, y le pregunté a esa persona, ¿ya tú hablaste con esa otra persona? No, I don't want to talk to that person. I'm fed up already, blah, 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 because that's the new word for people that are tired. I'm fed up. You know, yes. Dijo no, no voy a hablar con esa persona porque ya estoy harto y esa es la nueva palabra. Ya estoy harto con esto. Well, if you didn't get to talk to this person, pero si tú no hablaste con esa persona, then you're not fed up. Entonces no estás harto. You're just full of pride. Simplemente estás lleno de orgullo. Simple as that. Tan simple como es. The new thing going on. Lo nuevo que está sucediendo. I could serve God in my own. Yo puedo servir a Dios en mi casa. I don't need to be connected with no one. Yo no tengo que estar conectado con nadie. I could serve God in my house. Yo puedo a Dios desde mi casa. You're right. Es verdad. You must serve God in your house. Tú debes a Dios en tu casa. And you must connect with your assembly as y tú debes con una Do not stop gathering as many has done so. Says no the book of Hebrews. De congregarte como muchos lo han hecho. Why he said that in the book of Hebrews? Porque él dijo esto en el libro de Hebreos. This is the time of persecution for the ecclesia of the first century. Este era el momento de persecución para la iglesia del primer siglo. And they still asking to gather no matter what. Y ellos aún pedían que se congregaran sin importar. They will gather in the synagogue. Ellos se congregaban en la sinagoga. If they were not accepted in the synagogue, they will go to the courtyards of the temple. Y si no eran aceptados en la sinagoga, se iban a los atrios del templo. If they were not accepted in the courtyards of the temple, they will go to someone's house. Si no eran aceptados en los atrios, se iban a casa de alguien. They will look for an excuse to gather. Ellos buscaban una excusa para reunirse. But there's people today that are looking excuses not to gather. Pero hay personas hoy que están buscando excusas para no reunirse. I was saying the other day on a post that I post on Facebook we at TAP we are always looking for an excuse to spend some time together because I really love spending time with you even though I want to break your head once in a blue los otros días puse en Facebook que estamos buscando nosotros aquí en TAP una excusa para reunirnos y porque a mí me encanta pasar tiempo contigo aunque a veces quiera cogerte por el pelo it's the same thing with you sometimes you where you see my head you see my feet you know it's normal y lo mismo pasa con ustedes a veces cuando ven mi cabeza ven los pies pero eso es normal If there is a local Sanhedrin established, si hay un Sanhedrin local establecido, if there is a local leadership established, hay un liderato local establecido, that means that the pastor is on the submission of that 
Quiere decir que el pastor está bajo sumisión He's a on, ellos. On the submission to them. Está bajo sumisión de ellos. And we submit to each other. Y nos sometemos el uno al otro. If that's present. Si eso está presente. And there is an issue. Y hay un problema. That you want to solve. Que usted quiere resolver. With someone. Con alguien. Look what Numbers 35:30 says. Mira lo que Números 34 dice. 35, 30. If anyone kills a person, si alguien mata a alguien, the murderer should be put to death at the evidence of witnesses, but not a single person should be put to death on the testimony of just one witness. Si alguien mata a alguien, la persona que asesinó debe ser puesto en una sentencia de muerte bajo la evidencia de testigos. Y esta tiene que ser por medio de más de un testigo. In other words, you can be the, on, the only witness to a case. En otras palabras, usted no puede ser su único testigo en un caso. If you have something against someone here, si usted tiene un problema con alguien aquí, you can be the only witness. Usted no puede ser el único testigo. You have to have at least another witness. Usted por lo menos tiene que tener otro testigo. And once you have this clear y una vez usted tenga esto claro, then you could approach the matter entonces, usted puede acercarse al asunto. listen to what Deuteronomy 17.6 says Mire lo que Deuteronomio 17 dice. on the evidence of two witnesses or three witnesses he who is to die should be put to death he should not be put to death on the evidence of one witness en la evidencia de dos testigos o tres Aquella persona que tenga que estar puesto bajo sentencia de muerte será puesto bajo sentencia de muerte bajo la evidencia de más de dos testigos. No se pondrá en sentencia bajo la evidencia de un solo testigo. Deuteronomy 19:15. You better remember this chapter. So next time you want to say something. A single witness should not rise against a man on account of any iniquity or any sin which he has committed. On the evidence of two or three witnesses, a matter should be confirmed, established. This is so radical. Esto es tan radical. On the testimony of two or three. En el testimonio de dos o tres. In other words, this is what he says. You can judge someone in authority. Lo que dice es, tú no puedes juzgar a alguien en autoridad. Based on your own conclusion. Basados en tu propia conclusión. You need to have two or three witnesses. Tienes que tener dos o tres testigos. Let me read it again. Y déjeme leerlo nuevamente. A single witness should not rise up against a man on account. El someone in, a, in responsibility. On account of any iniquity or anything which he has committed. On the evidence of two or three witnesses, a matter should be established and affirmed. Do you want to know why King David was never taken, it was never taken to the Sanhedrin when he committed adultery? ¿Usted quiere saber por qué el rey David nunca fue llevado al Sanhedrin cuando cometió adulterio? And that chicken smells so good. Y ese pollo huele tan rico. Do you know why King David was not stoned to death by when he committed adultery? ¿Usted sabe por qué el rey David no fue apedreado a muerte cuando cometió adulterio? The only witness is Nathan the prophet. El único testigo era Natán el profeta. No one else knows about the matter. Nadie más sabía del asunto. No one else wants to come forward to speak about the matter. Nadie más quería eh, venir a hablar del asunto. And even Nathan when he's presented in front of the king. Y aún Natán cuando fue presentado frente al rey. He never accused David of committing adultery. Él nunca acusó a David de cometer adulterio. Instead he accused the king King David of robbery. En su lugar, culpó a Rey David, acusó a Rey David de robo. Not adultery. No de adulterio. In fact, adultery is not even mentioned one in the entire chapter when it comes to Bersheba and, uh, and Melech Zawi. De hecho, el adulterio no es mencionado ni una sola vez cuando en el capítulo que tiene que ver con Bersheba y, y David. The, the Talmud is full of this um, uh, information regarding to this event. El Talmud está lleno de esta información que tiene que ver con este asunto. And according to the sages, y de acuerdo a las sagas, King David granted a permission, we could say, or, or give permission to their husbands to give a letter of divorce to their wife in case they never come back from the war. El, el rey David había dado un permiso a los esposos que iban a guerra de darle una carta de divorcio en caso de que ellos no regresaran. 
Because if they didn't come back, porque si ellos no regresaban, and there was not a letter of divorce, y no había una carta de divorcio, she won't be able to remarry. Ella no podía volverse a casar. So according to the sages, they say that by the time of King David, when he sent the soldiers to war, all those that were married were given to their wives a letter of divorce for that same reason. Entonces, de acuerdo a las sagas, dicen que por los tiempos de David, él autorizó a que le dieran una carta de divorcio a todas las esposas a los que iban a la guerra por esa razón. This is why King David is not accused of adultery but robbery because he stole from his neighbor. Por eso es que Rey David no es acusado de adulterio sino de robo porque le robó a su vecino. Yeah, but on the heavenly courts we know that it was adultery. Pero en las cortes celestiales sabemos que era adulterio. But in the early court there was not a witness. Pero en las cortes terrenales no había ni un solo testigo. Would you imagine, would you imagine Nathan the prophet taking King David to the Sanhedrin and saying this man is guilty of adultery. Usted se imagina a Natán el profeta llevando al rey David al Sanedrín y, diciendo, y acusándolo, este hombre es un adulterio. Un the leaders, adulterio. the elders would ask for the witnesses. Los ancianos pedirían testigos. So what Nathan is going to say? Así que, ¿qué diría Natán? Oh, no witness, God spoke to me. <laughs> no hay testigo, Dios me habló. You know, because there's people that are good like that. Porque hay personas que son buenos con esto. I remember this person that God spoke to this person every single day, every single night, every single minute. Yo recuerdo a esta persona que Dios le hablaba todas las noches, toda, eh, cada minuto. Oh, I can see through you. God showed me. God revealed me. God. Yeah, it's always something spiritual that God shows you. Yo puedo ver a través de ti. Dios me reveló. Sí, siempre es algo que Dios te reveló. People need to stop being so spiritual. Las personas deben de dejar de ser tan espirituales. And be more realistic. Y ser más realistas. You are irresponsible. Tú eres irresponsable. The world has nothing against you. El mundo no tiene nada There's contra not a conspiracy ti. against you. No hay una conspiración contra ti. You lack in integrity. Tú tienes falta de integridad. You lack in character. Tienes falta de carácter. It's not that the people have something against you. No es que las personas tienen algo contra so ti. Stop playing the victim card. Así que deja de estar jugando la carta de víctima. The persecutor card. La carta de acusado. Sí, porque hay gente que se va porque están siendo perseguidos. <laughs> because there's people that leave because they're being persecuted. Ay, nobody wants me there. Ay, nadie me quiere ahí. Another ham. Otra mano. Otro jamón. Matthew 18:16 says, but if he does not listen to you, take one or two more with you. So by the mouth of two or three witnesses, every fact may be confirmed. This is Yeshua. Esto es Yeshua. I'm going to repeat the verse. Y voy a repetir el versículo. But if he does not listen to you, take one or two more with you, so that by the mouth of two or three witnesses, every fact may be confirmed. So let me give you this example. Así que déjeme darle este ejemplo. If I have something against Dina, si yo tengo algo en contra de Dina, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go to the pastor right away to say what I'm, what's going on with Dina. Yo no voy a ir donde el pastor de inmediato para decir lo que está sucediendo con Dina. I'm not gonna go to my boy, to my friend, to my brother, to my sister to say what I have against Dina. Yo no voy a ir donde mi hermano para decirle lo que está sucediendo con Dina. If you do that, you are a coward. Si haces esto, eres un cobarde. Capital C, capital <laughs> O, coward. Con C mayúscula. Eres un cobarde. Eres un cobarde. Que te duela, te lo voy a decir otra vez. Eres un cobarde. You are a coward. Si necesitas hablar con otras personas de algo que te está pasando con Dina, eres un cobarde. If you need to speak to other people about something that's going on with Dina, you are a coward. You want me to tell you why? ¿Quieres que le diga por qué? Because your master says, if someone has sinned against you, go to him, fix this issue with him in private. Porque el maestro dice, si tú tienes un problema con esta persona, vete donde ella y arregla el asunto en privado. You're not going to bring this case to everyone in the church and then the last person to know is Dina. Usted no va a traer este caso a todos en la iglesia y la última que se entera es Dina. You are a coward. Tú eres un cobarde. Someone came to me with an issue. Alguien vino donde mí con un problema. And I said to this person. Y yo le dije a esta persona. Did you talk to that person already? Ya tú le hablaste a esa persona. The person says no. Y la persona dijo no. And I said, leave me alone. I'm studying at this moment. Y yo le dije, déjame quieto que estoy estudiando People en ese want momento. to jump three steps and get resolved right away. Las personas quieren brincar tres pasos y que se resuelva de inmediato. When I have something against someone here that I have to come into peace, I go to that person straight. I don't go to secondary people. 
Cuando yo tengo un problema con alguien aquí que, te, que tiene que hacerse la paz, yo voy directamente donde esa persona, no voy a donde segundos. If I do the opposite, si yo hago lo opuesto, and I come in rebellion to what Yeshua said, y vengo en rebelión a lo que dijo Yeshua, listen to this, escuche esto, I'm committing la shonhara, estoy cometiendo la shonhara, and rehilut. Y rehilut. And according to the book of Leviticus, y de acuerdo al libro de Levíticos, rehilut, rehilut, equals to to committing murder. Es lo mismo que cometer asesinato. When you bring me a bochinche from someone, cuando tú me traes a gossip de otra persona, no only you committing suicide, you also committing suicide and double murder. No solamente estás cometiendo suicidio, sino suicidio y doble asesinato. Because you're killing me. Porque me estás matando a mí. You're killing the person that you're talking about. Estás matando a la persona de la que estás hablando. And you're committing suicide. Y te estás cometiendo suicidio. And don't you think that affects the people? ¿Y tú no piensas que esto afecta al pueblo? Besides la shonjara y regilud, there is another word. There is a, a term known as avach la shon. Además de la shonjara y regilud, hay otro término que se llama rashon. Avach la shon. Avach, la And it's shon. basically lifting up dust. Y básicamente es levantar polvo. You know when you walk and you start and dust start coming out? Usted sabe cuando uno camina y se levanta el polvo? Basically what it means is you don't want to talk directly about the person but you do talk about him. Básicamente lo que quiere decir es que usted no quiere hablar directamente de la persona pero sí habla de ella. Let me give you an example of Abba Lashon. Por ejemplo déjeme, da, déjeme darle este ejemplo de Abba Lashon. Hey Dina, how you doing? Hola Dina, ¿cómo estás? Uh, no, let's have a conversation. Forget oh, about those okay. who can't speak Spanish. Too bad. <laughs> how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Um, help me to pray for Jeanette. Yeah, what, what's going on? I don't know. I've been seeing these things in Jeanette lately. Yeah. I don't think they're godly. Yeah, like what? I don't know. She's been giving mean look to people and stuff like We just need to pray for her. Really? But yeah. when was this? Last Saturday. She was even giving you a, a, a mean look and staring at you. And, and the way that she disciplined the kids, I don't think that's correct. I got to talk to Pastor. Wait, wait, But wait, I got to tell wait, you wait. so we could pray about it. She was giving me a dirty look? Yeah, she was. Oh, my God. No, we got to pray. We got to pray. That's Avach Lashon. Eso es Avach Lashon. You try to justify it through terms of righteousness or, oh, that we need to pray. You lifting up the so the person's character could get damaged. Usted está tratando de justificarlo de manera espiritual, pero lo que está haciendo es levantando polvo para que esa persona se dañe. And then la shonjara y luego la shonjara creates damage to the character of the person and, the, and, and whatever the person owns. Eh, crea daño al carácter de esa persona y todo lo que ella posea. When you talk about me, you talk about my wife, you talk about my children, you talk about my family, you talk about the mishpocha, you talk about TF. When you talk about me, you create damage to anything I'm related with. Cuando usted habla de mí, habla de Vanessa, habla de mis hijos, habla de mi familia, habla de mi ministerio. Cuando habla de mí, habla de todo lo que está relacionado conmigo. And Regilu, y Regilu, it has to do with murder. Tiene que ver con asesinato. You are killing that person's character. Usted está matando el carácter de esa persona. You see, this is why Yeshua, how many of you know that Yeshua used many principles established in, 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 in first century Judaism? ¿Cuántos saben que Yeshua usó los principios establecidos en el primer, en el judaísmo del primer siglo? We have the alakot. Tenemos los alakot. Which is a fence. Que es una verja. Basically, a fence that is placed around certain commandments. B básicamente una verja que está puesta alrededor de ciertos mandamientos. You know, the rabbis used to do that. They used to create fences around certain commandments. Los rabbis hacían esto, creaban verjas alrededor de ciertos so mandamientos. So you don't have to break that commandment. They will create a fence around it. Para que usted no rompiera ese mandamiento, ellos creaban una verja alrededor. I mean, sometimes they created more than a fence. They created a towel. And, you know, but there was fences around certain commandments. Eh, eh, a veces más de una cerca ellos hacían torres y todo esto pero habían cercas alrededor de ciertos mandamientos for an example for you not to break the Sabbath you are you were not allowed to walk more than what por ejemplo para usted no romper el Sabbath usted no puede caminar más de qué why is that por qué es esto because if you run over a mile porque si usted se pasa de una milla sweating, comienza a sudar so you are working así que está trabajando this is why I don't believe you should be training on Shabbat por eso es que yo pienso que usted no debe estar haciendo ejercicios en Shabbat You shouldn't be sweating on Shabbat. No debe de estar sudando en Shabbat. I was talking to the maintenance guy in this house. Estaba hablando con el que hace mantenimiento en esta casa. Yeah. Good thing he's not here today. <laughs> Qué bueno que no está aquí hoy. And I haven't walked around the premises. Y yo le dije que caminara alrededor del, 
de las facilidades. You see that? 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 I told you to clean. I told you to clean. I told you to clean. But you know what? You're not going to clean that today because it's Sabbath. Get back to the office. Tú ves esto, mira, te dije que limpiaras esto, que limpiaras aquello, que limpiaras aquello, pero sabes que no vas a limpiar eso hoy porque hoy es Sabbath. Vete a la oficina. You know, I, I, so it's an ala cold. Así que hay una verja. The helps for you to prevent disobeying certain commandments. Que te ayuda a que no rompas algunos mandamientos. Now. Ahora. Yeshua did the same thing. Yeshua hizo lo mismo. Because the commandment says, "Thou shalt not kill," right? Porque el mandamiento dice, "No matarás." Yeshua created a fence around that commandment. Y Yeshua creó una cerca alrededor de este mandamiento. And what was the fence? Y cuál era la cerca? You have here saying, "Thou shalt not kill," but here I tell you, whoever hates his brother. Is puni- is, is, that person is sentenced, is punishable with death because he has already committed murder in his heart. Usted ha escuchado decir que usted no matará, pero aquel que odia a su hermano, esa persona es sentenciado a muerte porque ya ha cometido asesinato en su corazón. Another term. Otro término. Thou shalt not uh, commit adultery, right? Usted no cometerá adulterio. So Yeshua placed another fence around. Así que Yeshua hizo otra cerca alrededor de este. What was that fence? ¿Y cuál era la cerca? Whoever desires a woman that is not his wife has committed adultery already. El que desea a la mujer que no sea su esposa ya ha cometido adulterio. That's an alakot. Eso es un alajot. You know why that fence is created? ¿Usted sabe por qué esa cerca es creada? So you could deal with what is light. Para que usted pueda lidiar con lo que es liviano. Because if you work with what is light. Porque si usted trabaja con lo que es liviano. You don't transgress in the heavy. Usted no transgrede al, en lo pesado. There is a Jewish term called light and heavy. Hay un término judío que se llama liviano y pesado. So yes, we're going to deal with the light every day. Así que sí, vamos a lidiar con lo liviano todos los días. That's our battle. Esa es nuestra batalla. But if we overcome what is light, pero si, so, eh, si vencemos lo que es liviano, we don't have to deal with what is heavy. No tenemos que lidiar con lo que es pesado. This is why, if you want to have a healthy relationship with the assembly that you connected, por esto es que si usted quiere tener una relación saludable con la asamblea que se conecta, you deal with the light. Usted lidia con lo liviano. What is light? Con lo que es you have grudges against someone. Si tienes roces contra alguien, you are two steps away from committing murder. Estás a dos pasos de cometer asesinato. Go and talk to that person. Ve y habla con esa persona. Reconcile yourself with that person. Con esa persona. Before you bring an offering to this house. Antes de traer una ofrenda a esta casa. Make sure you're in peace with your brother. Asegúrate de estar en paz con tu hermano. Hello, I'm talking to someone here or is in the parking lot the person I'm talking to. Estoy hablando a alguien aquí o alguien allá en el estacionamiento. If you have something against your neighbor. Si tienes algo en contra de tu vecino. Fix it. Arréglalo. Fix it. Arréglalo. Stop looking for excuses to stop coming. Deja de estar buscando excusas para dejar de venir. Stop looking for excuses to stop gathering. Deja de estar buscando excusas para no reunirte. Guess what? You're offended because people are talking about you. You will know that you have been talking about many people before and even still to this day talking about others. Estás ofendido porque están hablando de ti, pero tú sabes muy bien que tú has hablado de muchas personas anteriormente y aún hasta el día de hoy sigues hablando de ellos. That's what the, that's what the book of Ecclesiastes says. Eso es lo que dice el libro de Ecclesiastes. Don't be surprised or get offended when someone talks about you because you will know deep inside of your heart that you have talked about them many times before. No esté sorprendido si hay personas que hablan de ti porque usted sabe que dentro de su corazón usted ha hablado de ellos muchas veces antes. Now, if that person, once you talk to him, the problem continues. Ahora, si esa persona, una vez que usted habla con ellos, el problema continúa. What you do next? Entonces, ¿qué usted hace después? What you guys do next? ¿Qué es lo próximo que se hace? You go to Facebook and you post it. Usted va a Facebook y lo pone ahí. No? I thought that's what you're supposed to do. Yo creía que eso era lo que uno tenía que hacer. You go to Facebook and then you start saying, estos hijos de pipi, que se creen que yo soy una pipi. No, mira, yo soy de pipi. Facebook. No, the, then they say, and I'm not going to say no more because I'm a Christian woman. Y luego dicen, y no voy a decir nada más porque soy una mujer cristiana. Yeah, circus. If you're not able to fix this issue, si tú no puedes arreglar el problema, by yourself, 
por ti mismo. You get two witnesses. Usted busca dos testigos. And you come to this person. Y usted va donde esa persona. Please, I'm trying to have peace with you. Por favor, estoy tratando de tener paz contigo. I post on Facebook a teaching from last year. Eh, yo puse en Facebook una enseñanza del año pasado. That you're not to create kraha, bald spots in your forehead. Que usted no puede hacerse eh, calvas en su en su frente. And that commandment is tied to another commandment is that you're not to cut yourself. Y ese mandamiento está ligado a otro mandamiento que usted no puede cortarse. You're not to cut yourself in mourning. No puede cortarse por causa de, de luto. The sages had a very particular way of interpreting this. Y las sagas tienen un modo muy particular de interpretar esto. And this is what they said. Y esto es lo que ellos dicen. That commandment also teach. Ese mandamiento también enseña. Is that you're not to cut yourself into small groups es que usted no puede cortarse en pequeños grupos Because if we are a body, porque si somos un cuerpo and we creating ball spots in our body, y estamos eh, haciendo calvas en nuestro cuerpo and we cutting members of this body, y estamos cortando a, cuerpo, a miembros de este cuerpo we are creating small groups. estamos creando pequeños grupos and the gossip always starts with small groups. y el bochinche siempre comienza con pequeños Rebellion grupos always starts with small groups. la rebelión siempre comienza con pequeños grupos el problema que Korat tenía el problema que tuvo Coré was not only a problem of jealousy. No era solo un problema de celos. Is that he was able to find two people that felt like him, thought like him, spoke like him. Fue que él pudo encontrar a dos personas que se sentían como él, que hablaban como él. And they spoke like him. Y pensaban como él. You know the story of Coré. Usted conoce la historia de Coré. Have you noticed that the people who are offended the turn to look for those that are offended and create a small group. Usted ha notado que las personas que se sienten ofendidas buscan aquellas que también han sido ofendidas y buscan y hacen pequeños grupos. I'm not going to use no one's assembly for example, I'm going to use mine. Yo no voy a usar ningún ejemplo de otra persona, voy a usar el mío. No, another assembly I'm not using, I'm using this assembly as an example. No estoy no estoy usando otra asamblea como ejemplo, sino esta. But the majority of the people who leave this house, Pero la mayoría de las personas que dejan esta casa, they connect right away with the people who left this house prior and left offended. Se conectan inmediatamente con las personas que se fueron anteriormente y, y se sentían se fueron ofendidas. They connect. Ellas se conectan. They cut themselves into small groups. Se están cortando en pequeños grupos. And is that healthy? Y eso es saludable. Eventually, soon or later. Eventualmente, tarde o temprano, the Creator is going to charge you for what you have done. El creador te va a juzgar a ti por lo que tú has hecho. And it's not because I'm a holy roller, because I'm the righteous man, I'm always right. No, God knows that I have many flaws. Y no es porque yo soy el más santo, no. Dios sabe que yo tengo muchos defectos. But at the end, you didn't disrespect the, uh, me as a person. Pero al final del asunto, usted no me, dese, me faltó el respeto a mí como persona. You disrespect what has been established in scripture as biblical protocol for law and order. Usted le faltó el respeto a lo que se estableció en la escritura como un protocolo bíblico para ley y orden. Even if you're right. Aun si usted está en lo Even correcto, if you left with right and good reasons. Aun si se fue con razones correctas. The fact that you didn't confront this issue according to scripture makes yourself or put yourself in rebellion. El hecho que usted se fue de esta congregación sin, confr sin confrontar el asunto lo pone usted en rebelión. You are a rebellious, you are a rebellious child. Eres un niño rebelde. Doesn't matter how you put it. No importa cómo lo pongas. How you fix it. Cómo lo pintes. How you explain it. Cómo lo expliques. You are in rebellion, my friend. Estás en rebelión. I don't care how you fix it, how you put it, how you say it. No importa cómo lo arregles, cómo lo pintes, cómo lo digas. You are in rebellion. Estás en rebelión. Oh, that I don't like Kayla. No, that I don't like Angie. No, that I don't like Pastor. No, that I don't like that. You are in rebellion. Ay, es que no me gusta Kayla, no me gusta Angie, no me gusta Vanessa. Estás en rebelión. I can stand Dina when she translates. Yo no soporto a Dina cuando traduce. <laughs> that I don't like Emily when she sings. That I don't like this. That I don't like that. I'm down. <laughs> La canta canena. <laughs> Only Puerto Ricans know what I just did. <laughs> Búscame donde... No. <laughs> look, look, at the, look, look at the majority. They're like, what he's saying? What he means, ta can, ta can. Explain to you after. 
I'm glad that I have a group here, a fan that knows what I'm talking about. Thank you. Praise God for real. No, you're not Puerto Rican. Uh, you always, you will always have the ability to make peace. Siempre tienes la habilidad de hacer paz. And it's nothing better than make peace with those that you have grudges with. Y no hay nada mejor que hacer la paz con aquellos que tienes cerca de ti. It's such a good feeling when you're able to hug and cry with someone that has offended you or you have offended. Es un, es un sentir tan hermoso cuando puedes abrazar a alguien y llorar con alguien que te ha ofendido. Don't take this personal. Y no tomes esto personal. But you know why I love you so much? Pero sabes por qué yo te amo tanto? Because all the times I've been offended by you. Por las veces que tú me has ofendido. And you know why you love me so much? Y sabes por qué tú me amas tanto? Because the times I have offended you. Por las veces que yo te he ofendido a ti. That make us family. Y eso nos hace familia. Not members. No miembros. Yeah, members of a body, Mashiach. Sí, miembros de un cuerpo del Mashiach. But we are family. Pero somos familia. And I'm not going to let you go from this house. Y yo no voy a dejar que te vayas de esta casa. I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to give you the, the, the benefit of, of going to your house and concert yourself and teach to yourself and preach to yourself and give yourself high five and say amen to yourself because you're in rebellion. No, I'm not, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to look for the, I'm going to look for any excuse voy a to be with you. Voy a buscar cualquier excusa para estar contigo. If after two people, si después de dos personas, he still doesn't listen or she doesn't listen. Ella aún, o ella o él aún no escuchan. Then you do a bathing. Entonces uno hace un bathing. That's serious stuff. Y eso es cosa seria. Listen to what Yeshua said. Escuche lo que Yeshua dijo. If after that he still don't listen. Si después de esto aún no escucha. Bring it to the ecclesia. Tráelo a la iglesia. The assembly. A la asamblea. The elders. A los ancianos. What's the reference? ¿Y cuál es la referencia? Deuteronomy 17. Deuteronomio 17. They will declare a sentence on that matter. Ellos declararán una sentencia en el asunto. Second of Corinthians chapter 13 verse 1. Segunda de Corintios 13 versículo 1. This is the third time I'm coming to you. Every fact is to be confirmed by the testimony of two or three witnesses. Esta es la tercera vez que vengo donde ti. Cada hecho debe ser confirmado por el testimonio de dos o tres testigos. Deuteronomio 17, verse 8 and 13. Deuteronomio 17, versículo 8 y 13. As it is understood from the revelation given in the Torah to us in Deuteronomio 17, 8 to 13, it is the judges, the elders, the teachers, the sahem, the nazis, the one who have received the certificate to practice justice in matters with the saints of the assembly. They are the one responsible in common with Alachot, in common with Jewish declaration, with uh, Alachit re, uh, regulations. If we decide to stay here on Saturday and keep Saturday our Sabbath, this matter has been established by the elders and the Nasi of this house. I don't care if you don't agree with us in the calendar. I don't care if you don't agree with us in anything. It's not about me pleasing you. It's about me coming into uh, turn with the elders of this house. And if I decide to keep Sabbath because the elders of this house are in agreement with me, the Bible says, not me, that God himself is pleased with my burden. That's what scripture says. The conclusion to this. La conclusion de esto. If there is no structure, si no hay ninguna estructura, there is no judgment. No hay ningún juicio. If there is a structure but there is no witness, si hay estructura, pero no hay testigos, then there is no judgment neither. Entonces, tampoco hay juicio. If you don't have authority to judge, si usted no tiene autoridad para juzgar, or you haven't been placed in any ecclesiastical court, o no ha sido eh, posicionado en ninguna corte eclesiástica Then you don't have the biblical authority to judge others. Entonces usted no tiene la autoridad bíblica de juzgar a otros. That doesn't mean that you don't have the right to speak. Eso no quiere decir que no tenga el derecho de hablar. You do have that right. Sí tienes ese derecho. But you must do you must do it in the right way. Pero lo debes hacer de la forma correcta. Unfortunately, desafortunadamente, the reason why we get to see many divisions in today's Assemblies. La razón por la que vemos tantas divisiones en las asambleas de hoy. Is because the lack of integrity in people. Es por la falta de integridad en las personas. In solving matters. En 
la cuestión de resolver so asuntos. If you don't know how to fix an issue with a local with a local assembly. Así que si usted no sabe resolver un problema con la asamblea local. That means you don't know how to deal with conflicts at home with your husband, with your wife, with your children. Quiere decir que no puede no sabe cómo arreglar problemas en la casa con su esposa, con sus hijos. That means that you don't have the ability to forgive. Quiere decir que no tienes la habilidad de perdonar. So if you don't have the ability to forgive. Así que si no tienes la habilidad de perdonar. You don't have Messiah then. Usted no tiene Mesías entonces. Because one of the first fruits that is developed in each one of us. Porque lo primero que es desarrollado en cada uno de nosotros. Is the ability to forgive. Es la habilidad de perdonar. And forget. Y de olvidar. Oh yes. Forgive. Perdonar. And forget. Y olvidar. It didn't work out in the past. No funcionó en el pasado. I'm going to try it again. Pero lo voy a intentar nuevamente. Because I have experienced the mercy, love, and kindness of God. Porque yo he experimentado la misericordia, el amor y la bondad de Dios. And according to the way that I judge you, I'm going to be judged. Y de acuerdo de la, a la manera que yo te juzgue, yo voy a ser juzgado. You know, this assembly here. Esta asamblea aquí. The majority of people who have left this house. La mayoría de los que se han ido de esta casa. It's because they left offended. Es porque se fueron ofendidos. And I pray for them every day. Y yo oro por ellos todos los días. We still haven't had a, a person here. Uh, todavía no hemos tenido una persona aquí. Who left the assembly. Que se fue de la asamblea. Because of sin. Por causa de, pe de pecado. It's because of offense. Sino por ofensa. You know how many people have left this house? Usted sabe cuántas personas han ido de And esta it's casa? funny because Jeanette told me it's always it's funny how we always keep the same numbers. It doesn't matter how many people leave this, this assembly. Y es gracioso porque no importa cuántas personas se van de la casa, siempre tenemos más o menos el mismo número. But if we would have if we would keep track of all those that have left this house. Pero si estuviéramos un récord de todos los que se fueron de la casa. This assembly will be at least three to five hundred members today. Esta casa sería por lo menos de 300 a 500 miembros hoy. That's a lot of people. Y esa es mucha gente. And what I'm supposed to do? ¿Y qué se supone que haga? I forgive. Yo los perdono. I'm very tolerant with people. Yo soy muy tolerante con las I'm personas. I'm very understandable with people. Yo soy muy entendido con las personas. I'm very clear and transparent with people. Yo soy muy claro y transparente con las personas. Sometimes too transparent. A veces muy transparente. But that's what gives us. That's what makes us family. Pero eso es lo que nos hace familia. But there's always a remnant. Pero siempre hay un remanente. But I'm just giving you the facts. Pero le, le estoy dando los hechos. In one service only. En un servicio solamente. Twenty people left. Veinte personas se fueron. Because they got offended because of my birthday. Porque se ofendieron porque era mi cumpleaños. On one service only. En un solo servicio. I didn't know that the church was preparing this birthday party for me on Sabbath and when I came they have this crazy thing going on and and I reviewed the church after but I'm not gonna say it on the moment when I'm taking my part so they all have this big celebration happy birthday when I walked in it was Sabbath so it's like let's do this after but the person and the person's group not much the person but even the people that was around them they got so offended that they stopped coming because of that And they took with them many. They cut themselves into small pieces. Se cortaron en pequeñas pedazos. And where are they? ¿Y dónde están? Where are they now? ¿Dónde están ahora? Another group left. Otro grupo se fue. Because I confront an issue. Porque yo confronté un problema. That it needed to be resolved. Que necesitaba ser resuelto. Because they love pastor when pastor is a friend. Oh, pastor is my dog. Yeah, my porque, dude. Porque ellos aman al pastor cuando el pastor es un amigo. But when pastor has to actually confront you. Pero cuando el pastor tiene que confrontarte. They get offended. Ellos se ofenden. And that's my duty. Y ese es mi deber. Thursday I confronted Damaris. Right, Damaris? El jueves yo confronté a Damaris. I confronted um, Angie, Grace, and I do that, you know, not that I'm correcting you, it's just confront so we can have peace. If I stop confronting you, then I don't care anything about you. But 
But if I confront you with certain things, is that I care. Pero si te confronto con algunas cosas, es que tú me importas. And I'm expecting you to do the same thing with me. Y yo estoy esperando que tú hagas lo mismo conmigo. You don't like something about me? Si no te gusta algo de mí, invite me to dinner, invite me to coffee, let's talk. Invítame a comer, invítame a un café y vamos a hablar. Make sure there's two and two on my caramel swirl. Asegúrate que hayan dos y dos en mi caramel swirl from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Let's talk. Vamos a hablar. Maybe I offended you. Quizás yo te ofendí. But I didn't do it on purpose. Pero no lo hice a propósito. I would apologize. Yo me voy a disculpar. I will forgive. I will forgive. Yo perdona. Yo voy a perdonar. I receive forgiveness. Y yo voy a recibir perdón. Let's hug. Vamos a abrazarnos. Let's carry on. Vamos a seguir. Let's walk together. Y vamos a caminar juntos. If we're going to judge a matter, si vamos a juzgar un asunto, let's do it right. Vamos a hacerlo correctamente. And let's be a clear image y vamos a hacer una imagen clara of that first century assembly. De esa asamblea del primer siglo. That's what we're all seeking. Eso es lo que estamos buscando. This is what we are called the awakening. Por eso es que somos llamados el despertar. We want to go back Queremos ir de regreso. to the roots of our faith. A las raíces de nuestra fe. When it comes to law, cuando tiene que ver con ley, and order, y orden. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Those that are watching online now, I'm going to dare you to do something. You know that you're keeping Sabbath. You're trying to keep Sabbath. But there's still conflicts with family members in your household. There is conflicts with people that you call friends. I want you to stop doing what you're doing right now, which is watching this telecast, and call that person. Call that husband. Call that wife. Let them know that you forgive them. That yes, you got offended because your heart got offended for any reason, whatever. Don't try to explain the why. Just release forgiveness. Because sometimes we want to forget, but you have to take that but out of the way. Release forgiveness. Receive forgiveness. Lo que estés haciendo ahora mismo, usted sabe que está tratando de guardar chavos, teniendo conflictos con miembros de la familia. Y no lo justifique de que usted es una persona que vive ¿no? en ley y orden. Deje de hacer lo que está haciendo, que es viendo esta programación y comuníquese con él, con ese esposo, con esa esposa, con esos hijos. Comuníquese con ellos en este mismo momento. Y déjenle saber que usted los ama, que usted quiere mantener esa relación. Así es como usted recibe descanso en Shabbat. Cuando usted puede respirar el perdón. El perdón usted lo da no porque la persona se lo merezca, sino porque usted se lo merece. Usted necesita tener paz. Usted necesita soltar. Release forgiveness. To those that are here, you need to do the same thing. You need to release forgiveness without any questions asked, without any but. Some people's but are too big. <laughs> and you need to get it out of the way. You need to release forgiveness, receive forgiveness, and enjoy that agape, ahava, that love that comes from the Creator. But you have to release forgiveness. So I'm going to ask everyone to stand on their feet here. Everyone, even the children, everyone. Because we are about to go to a covenant meal. And in order for you to partake of that covenant meal, you have to be in peace with your neighbor, with your brother, with your sister. Wow. 
Father God. in this Damaris come here sweetheart come through here let it talk to you how can you How can you say you love God that you don't see? We can love, but you can love your neighbor, your brother, your sister, the ones that comes here every Saturday, that is there with you, that is in all the hangings of TAP, because we always have one. We always hang in somewhere. If it's not with Ben. It's in my house. If it's not in my house, it's in someone's house. How can you fellowship with grudges? How can you fellowship with bitterness? How can you fellowship? There's so much anger in people today that declares the love of God. And that's such an oxymoron. How can there be so much anger in people that declares the love of God? Imagine what we will become if we love each other with such an extremely love to the point that we're able to overlook the offense and overlook the things that have taken place with you, with your family, with your husband, your wife, your children. Imagine if you can love your brother, the person that is next to you, your sister, the person that is next to you, in front of you, behind you. Imagine if you can love that person with such a love, with such a love, that you're willing to lay your life for that person. what this assembly will become if we love for our neighbor's interests before than our interests imagine what we as an assembly will become fact that you're not able to you know what guys I love you but this telecast online is coming to an end we're gonna continue here I love you I will see you next Shabbat bye bye